Uh, Coach, typically you guys are able to get back in them after these big deficits. Today, you, you didn't. What do you think the difference well, was? We actually cut it 26-20, and, and we have back-to-back -back turnovers, and that led to two layups, got it to 10, and, uh, you know, and then you know, we had some easy – we gave too many easy ones to them to start, and they made some threes, and obviously Ramey was, was special for them, and especially in the first half. Um, but we, we got it. The easy ones we have, the layups, the free throws, those are the ones that got They have to keep you in the game. You got to finish those, and um, we just didn't do it. And again, you know, we turned people over, but then we turned turned too many turnovers, which led to points off turnovers for them. And then obviously, no Monty today. How how's he doing physically? He um, he tweaked his knee in the game um, on Wednesday at Texas Tech, and you know it. it it's not like. End of the season, but he's in pain, and I think more than anything, he's scared. You know, because it's the same knee, same in, similar injury, not as severe as the first time. And um, it was, we just, it was up to him, the docs and trainers, and you know, just you know, can you go if you're pain free? And he, he, he was in quite a bit of pain. Pain. He tried to shoot around today, and obviously, it doesn't help. I thought Antonio played his butt off. Uh, just got to be. A little sharper taking care of the ball. Bruce, I know you, it seemed like you felt after the game earlier this week like you guys had good effort at Texas Tech. Do you feel like it was on the same level today or was it? Well, I, I, you know, I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I thought we would be ready to play. I thought, you know, the guys were pretty focused yesterday. Um, you know, it, it, some of it credit to Texas, uh, you know, how – they, they stepped up, and they're fighting for an NCAA bid, uh, played at special level. Uh, you know, it, and again, I don't think our guys quit, but we just, you know, those missed layups, missed free throws, turnovers, uh, just they, they take a mental toll on you. And we it was just too many of them, and, you know, put us in a big bind, and we got down and couldn't recover. You just come out of the, out of the locker room and – Obviously, the team's struggling. Your next two games at Baylor and then yeah. against the team that so beat you got Baylor. One and three, or whatever it'll be. Yeah, just yeah. what are your thoughts? I mean, it's just a great opportunity for us, you know, to step up and you have nothing to lose. No one expects you to win. Come and play. You know, we, uh, you know, obviously at Baylor, we're catching them a bad time, but they're catching us at a bad time, too. So we got to be ready to play. And then Kansas. You know, you hope it's rocking in here and we can we can have a, a special game. Uh, but it, it, it's not going to be easy because both teams, their toughness uh, is so is so good. And, you know, defensively, I, neither team is flamboyant by any means, or, but they just are tough and they grind you. And, and when you make mistakes, they take advantage. Obviously, it's kind of been a thing throughout the season, but the free throw shooting maybe didn't decide the game today. But it's it's been tough going this throughout the season. What do you think has have been the reasons for the poor free throw shooting this I, year? I have no idea. I mean, I've we've made them shoot during. We've made them shoot after. We've made them not not shoot at all. We've tried a bunch of it, and uh, you know, and you say it didn't make a difference in the game. It probably could have made a difference in the game in the first half, because if you make some of those, now it's a little closer, and you give yourself. And then even in the second half. You know, we every time you think, hey, maybe we're getting a little momentum. You know, we miss two in a row or miss go one for two or whatever, and and those are killers. It seemed like bad things seem to happen every time somebody tried to bounce pass today. Yeah. Is that, how do you analyze that? Um, I think you can ask Xavier. I, I've said all year, you cannot ba bounce pass out on the out on you know out on the court, and um, you got to step off. You got to play strong. You got to you know those. And, and, I've, and, you know, David had several of them. There's, you know, and he's been pretty good. He's been the guy that is, has been taking care of the ball and giving us assists. But uh, today, you know, their physicality, their guards, their guards are good. They're, they, and you can remember when they were freshmen, um, you know, they, they had their struggles. But now they're veterans. They know how to play. They're smart. Take advantage of your mistakes. Xavier, what did you think the biggest issue was for you guys today? Uh, just came out a little too casual, you know, especially in the first half, letting them get out to a lead like that, getting some easy easy transition buckets with, like you said, the bounce passes and easy layups that they got. 
Uh, Xavier Saka Smart mentioned that uh, they knew they had to come in here and play with grit. You feel like you guys match that level of effort, that level of play? I mean, I think score can show that, but um, we did. We didn't. We didn't come out with that same intensity in the beginning of the game, and it showed. Um, we were just trying to bounce back from there, uh, and it's, it's tough to fight uphill and keep fighting uphill. So we got to come out and start the game off a whole lot better than what we did. Xavier, can you give us a sense for your mindset right now, coming off a loss and heading into the next week? Right now, just worrying about the game plan for the next game. Uh, come out here and keep the team encouraging team and um, keep them under me as well and just keep playing my basketball game that I know I can play and as well as my uh, teammates can and keep encouraging them. And we can uh, hopefully come out with the win. They were just uh, 315 from the field for you tonight. How many of those shots did you feel good about and how many of them were contested or what was your shot selection do you feel like? Uh, I feel like a lot of them were in and out. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of them I felt like I got kind of bumped as well. Uh, got to the free throw line. I feel like could have did a better job on the free throw line as well. But uh, my shot was feeling good. Just didn't. Some of them didn't fall today. Does it get demoralizing when you're down, you know, 15, 16? Does that, does that make it harder to take good shots? Or I guess how does the deficit affect the way you guys play, if at all? Uh, definitely, you want to uh, get a good shot going down the court every time. You know, uh, coach preaches that to us a lot, and of course, being down, everybody want to try to be a hero ball. But uh, that's something we have to take in consideration and uh, go down, go down the court, execute, and get a good shot off every time. Bruce, did any of their injuries and new lineups make them difficult at all to play for today? I don't think so. I mean, they they still got the three guards coming in there, and you know that Coleman said bruised heel, and you know he was pretty productive. Uh, for them coming off a missed game. Obviously, Ramey was really good. Uh, Andrew Jones, you know, just he has a solid game at four for ten, but three for five from three, that's – those are killers. So, it, you know, Ham plays hard. Um, you know, Baker had the huge game the other day, but I thought we – you know, because we were able to scout him, we got after him a little bit, and he, now he dunked the heck out of it on a – Big time drive, but we got them speeded up a few times and four turnovers, and they had to play Ham and Jones and and Hepa more than than going back with the freshman. Bruce, are you guys looking for the call too much, waiting for an official's whistle on too many plays? Um, you know, and we've talked about this from the beginning of the year. If you go straight line drive and take it at the basket, the officials will call it. If you, you know, float or not go hard, you know, usually you don't get the call. So, uh, you know, we, yeah, we, you know, we got to the free throw line 29 times, but um, probably a, several other ones where, you know, keep, keep going, take that momentum and go to the basket. Bruce, just when you look at the numbers, you know, Mac finishes 14 and 10. I mean, did, did he play? Did you feel like that well, or are those numbers a little bit deceiving? Well, I, I think Wyatt just said it to me on the radio. He probably should have had – Nine for 13. You know, if he makes three more of those layups, maybe four more of those layups, now he has a huge game. Now, you know, now we're probably in the game because it, some of those were in the first half. Levi had a layup in the first half. We save your back pick. We talked about, you know, what are you going to do to us? They, they know Xavier's involved in a lot of our offense. They face guarded him. They were very physical. We had him set some screens. Um, you know, but then we actually, Cardi, I thought, was poised and patient, six assists. He hasn't had that in a while. I thought he got it, and he probably delivered three or four other ones that uh, either led to fouls or, you know, missed layups. So, um, you know, we, we did some good things. We just didn't finish them. And, uh, you know, again, you know, Mac played hard. You got to give, you know, he got battle and played. And the same thing with Antonio, but you got to be a little more sharp. I know earlier you mentioned just like the mental toll it takes on a team when they miss like the easy layups, things like that. But just referring to a mental toll right now, how tough is this to be in the midst of a, of a losing streak like this? It's it's tough. There's no doubt. It's no fun. No fun for anyone, not for the guys. But um, that's our job as coaches to try to help them and encourage them. And you know that's all that's all we can do. And uh, I think the guys have been good. It's not you know. They've come to practice and they are focused and ready to learn and, and do better. But uh, we've got to be a little better, especially to start a game. And we go back and forth. You guys have asked about lineups, start a game. Do we go offense? Do we go defense? And, uh, you know, this we went offense today, but and that's where our defense probably faltered early. But you still cut it 26-20. Now take care of the ball. 
make a couple plays, put a little pressure on them, and it's a total different game. You know, it's kind of old news, but a lot of talk this week about you and Cardi's interaction on Wednesday. How'd the rest of the week go with him? And then you talked about his game today and how he played. I, you know, he was, I thought he was fine. I thought he was, you know, I'd love him to make a couple more shots, but six assists, two turnovers. You know, six to two as a point guard, that's kind of what we've asked the whole year. Uh, four steals. Uh, you know, everyone can be better. I can be better. He can be better. Xavier, everybody. But, uh, you know, I thought he was he was fine. And, you know, it, it, it's just part of it. If you coach, we coach with a passion, and you, and you play with a passion, and obviously when you lose, it's not easy. Things happen. Sorry, Xavier, quick one. Just on the free throws shooting this year, what have been the struggles there? Uh, simply, we just don't make them, you know. Like Coach said, we've been in the gym shooting them. Everybody's been after before practice, during practice, doing drills during during practice run. We run for missed free throws as well. Just haven't showed up at the line. Coach, I was just going to ask about Dejuan. Uh, physically, how much is he fighting it right now and fighting through things? Uh, you know, he has, uh, like a lot of guys, Xavier has, they all have, you know, they're all in the training room. And uh, his knee is, is, you know, it's taking a toll. And, and he's not the strongest uh, <coughs> physical guy, you know. So it, it, you see him falling a lot, you know. But he, you know, again, I thought he plays hard. Uh, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't quit. Can be, you know, he, and I, I, I talk to him all the time about Barry, and and when Barry was a freshman, and you guys remember the layup against Kentucky and winning the championship, but when he was a freshman, he struggled, and you know, so um, you just, you know, the whole thing is, what do you learn every day? What do you learn? That's that's your, you know, my job to help them continue to learn, progress, be wiser, and and. And then what do you, you know, for the returning guys, what are they going to do? You know, you, what, take what they got from the season. Now what are you, you going to do with it? How hard are you going to work? What are you going to do as leaders? Um, that's going to be the big key. There's no doubt.